Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been over a year and a half since I've vlogged. That is mostly because I've been really busy. Part of that busyness is attributed to this guy right here. <laughs> so this is my boyfriend, Casey. What up, YouTube? I'm vlogging now because I'm about to be traveling to four different countries for two months, maybe more, we'll see what happens. Right now I'm packing, it's pretty stressful, but he's helping me and we're gonna get through it. It's supposed to be at the aisle, but it's making me feel sick because it's right by the bathroom. I wish I could switch sheets, but the plane is full. Wish me luck. So I just got to my hotel. My room is like a family room, so I have two beds. They just only have this one left, and it's like my own little house and my own bathroom. The whole thing is like a shower, it's interesting. Good morning from Sri Lanka. I am still at the villa, and today I leave and head to Candy via train, but first I was able to get a cup of tea, Ceylon tea, and some breakfast, and now I am packing everything up and getting a taxi to the train station. I'm on the train headed to Canby right now. I'm excited to see the greenery. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful train rides ever. hostel right now it's called banana bunks and it's the cutest hostel ever like when you drive up drive up on a tuk-tuk you see a bunch of banana leaves banana trees and it's just incredible and then you see the view of candy which is a really cool city and i haven't really had a chance to explore it because i'm only here one night but tomorrow morning i leave early for the elephant yeah. freedom project and i'm gonna be there for a couple nights volunteering with the elephants and that's gonna be so much fun. Right now we're gonna go for a swim at the hostel because there's a really nice pool even though it's dark out. We're gonna just hang out. Hi y'all, say hi. <laughs> Nina and I are in this cute little nook thing <laughs> outside just hanging out and she's crocheting. I just had some deep thoughts with her, not that deep, but I thought I should vlog about it. A year ago, my sister was traveling in Southeast Asia. She went to Bali and then she went to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And I remember being like really jealous. I really wanted to go too. But for some weird reason, I kept mixing up. Like when people would ask me where she was, I would say, oh, she's in Sri Lanka instead of Kuala Lumpur. When I don't know why I kept mixing that up because they're so different. But I guess because I kept mixing it up, I started researching Sri Lanka. And now a year later, I'm in Sri Lanka. <laughs> And so I was just talking with Nina about that and we both agreed it's in, it's insane how small little things in your life can or what what did you say exactly <laughs> <laughs> Just how random things in life decide what decisions you make in life <laughs> Yeah kind of how one small thing can like make 
that's all the difference in how me messing up the name of where my sister was made me look into going to that very place. And you know what? I made it happen. I don't know. Okay, I also did a lot of research on where I was going. Don't worry. I didn't just show up here. Tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning, guess who's going to volunteer with elephants? Me. Okay, so I'm going to the Elephant Freedom Project and it's about 45 minutes to an hour from where I am right now. I have never been more excited for anything. The Elephant Freedom Project is the only genuinely ethical elephant sanctuary in Sri Lanka. This sanctuary has rescued two elephants, Kumari and Manaki, from a riding center. Here, the elephants are offered a chance at a happier, more peaceful life. Riding is strictly prohibited, and the elephants roam freely and without chains on the sanctuary's grounds. You can donate to the project here. Rubber is now a drum. Ah. Yes! <laughs> Amazing. Say hi. Whoa. Look where we are. Hi, we're almost at the top of the Avalua Tower. Getting dizzy. Yeah. I have like this much water, but I'm glad I can breathe and touch the ground soon. Yeah, it was really narrow up there. But I, well, I took a drone shot, so you'll see that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, that's sweet. It's like a samosa. Chocolate. This is so nice. Her mom made us this. This is so sweet. So sweet. The best hospitality. We're going to see the elephants again and bathe them in the river. They're so cute. Oh. So insanely big. It's crazy. Hi, beautiful. Just ran on the bus. <laughs> we made it. We're going to Kegal. We're in Kegal. Just going to look at the shops and stop at a supermarket. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this ice cream bar. <laughs> Good. I mean, that's like a normal ice cream bar. Literally, I spent 1500 rupees, which is like four dollars. Not even. And I got like all of this. That's crazy. California could never. Finally, back at the sanctuary. It's my last session at the elephant sanctuary. And I'm really sad, I had a really yummy breakfast. I also had a fresh bingo. And now I'm going to feed the elephants. Hi beauties. Painting an elephant. White. Okay, so I'm gonna try painting this on the wall here. Let's go. I'm trying. Oh. 
We're trying this place called Upali's. So I got two drinks. I got this amazing ginger beer, locally sourced ginger. And then I, we also both got these humongous lion lagers, which is like a local beer. And we have a nice live concert behind us that I cannot understand, <laughs> it's but it's cool. Okay, we got our food. This looks amazing. It's all vegetarian too. Hot malua. It's like a seven vegetable curry. 3,000 years old. We about to beast this food. In the words of Ashley Alexander, AKA your mom Ashley, we about to be beasting <laughs> this food. Oh. Shout out your girl Ashley. On our way to Wilpatu National Park to see the animals on my safari. And I got another ginger beer. We're on the safari. Here we go. Wilpatu. Oh, she's so pretty. That's a big one. Big one. Big one. Oh, hello. Come here. Yeah, I'm one. We should long life. I'm one. Yeah, and you put your hand at your heart. Another nice story. And you call Monster. Wow. Right on. Look at it. That's a long time ago. It's a long time. Welcome to our crib for the night. This place is like staying in a UNESCO site. Dang! Yeah, yeah. Going to the pool. Yeah. Hey, pretty kitty. It's like a temple here. Fresh watermelon juice right here is good. And what? It's the Sri Lankan egg. Jekyll. I don't know what that is. They're like a fox. A rare fox. And we got to see them. We're special. More than 50 elephants. What are you feeling right now? It's so pretty. Going to climb to go to your rock. Yeah, that's right. Right and early. So much stairs to climb. We got this. It's the middle of the day. We just had a nice nap because we went at sunrise to Sigaria Rock and it was incredible, but we were exhausted. And now I'm gonna do a little workout with Casey before we hit the pool. It's yeah. a nice little relaxing day. Got a nice Sri little Lanka. balcony right here to do a little body weight workout. Lounging by the pool. This is Arak. It's like a whiskey with coconut. It's local. And it's also ginger beer. Ginger beer. Elephant house is really good. And lime. Nice little post workout. <laughs> yes. We found a little swing. Oh, no, no, 1,000. 
It's amazing. Hand carved in a cave. 2,000 years ago. up on it. <laughs> now we're going to the hotel. Beautiful. Oh. Nice. So cute. Going to the Nine Arch Bridge. It's so pretty here. first for a stopover and then we go to Bali. Yes. 